Yeah. I did that. Why was there a park ranger out here? He's looking at you. He's like, why is he videotaping? Because you're Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> boo Boo the Fool. He's out here looking for a yogi. Yogi? I ain't He's no bear. Boo Boo the Fool. -foo. Boo Boo the Fool. -foo. What's up, cleaners? I'm Chris, founder of Solar Panel Cleaning Friends, your number one online source for professional solar panel cleaners. And in this video, we're going to discuss the basics of solar panel cleaning step by step. Let's do this. This is science, Mike. Solar panel clean friends, man. Having solar panels cleaned on a regular basis maximizes the system's ability to generate electricity. In some cases, a solar panel could lose as much as 30% of its efficiency if the panel were never cleaned. Before we get started cleaning, let's ask the customer some questions about their system. Not only will we be fishing for some information, but this is the small interaction that should give us an idea of how much involvement the customer actually has with their solar panel system. I like to ask a customer a few different questions. First off, when were their solar panels installed and who installed them? Next, have they ever been cleaned? And finally, are they currently experiencing a loss of energy efficiency? It is at this point that I will start to educate my customer on the benefits of solar panel cleaning and why it is that they should have their panels cleaned on a routine schedule. Locate the water source that you will be connecting to. Be careful of the customer's hoses and anything connected before you touch their spigot. Unhook their hose if necessary and connect your hose, which will go to your water filter system. If you'd like to watch a video on water filter systems and how how important they are to solar panel cleaning, click on the link in the corner. For us, we connect to the customer's water spigot that goes into our Solar 7 filter from PH7. We then run a hose along the ladder and then it goes up the side of the roof to where we work. Protect yourself and get good before and after photos of your work. Not only is this good when it comes to collecting payment, but if there is an issue while cleaning, you have those before photos to rely on. Once you're finished cleaning, snap a few photos to show what an awesome cleaner you are. I like to get two away photos and two up close photos. While up on the roof and in front of the solar panel system, we like to perform a basic visual inspection of the solar panels, connections, brackets, etc. Basically, we look for any broken panels, any disconnected wires or cables, we look for any damage, and finally look underneath the panels for any bird nesting. When it comes to the actual solar panel cleaning, this is a simple recipe that I like to follow every single time. The first thing that we start off with is a pre-rinse of the solar panels. It helps to have a good flow of water when rinsing off solar panels. When rinsing off the solar panels basically what we're doing is we're rinsing off that top layer of dirt and dust and debris in addition that water is going to sit there and it's going to soak into all of those hard elements that are hard to scrub off you might even want to let the water sit on those solar panels for five or ten minutes to let it just soak into those hard elements and let them soften up so it makes your scrubbing a little bit easier next we have a soft abrasive scrubbing basically what we're doing is we're taking our water fed brushes and we're doing a soft abrasive scrubbing. We're not scrubbing hard. The fact that solar panels have an anti-reflective coating, we just don't want to scratch solar panel. That's why we use special water-fed brushes when we're cleaning our solar panels. Now that we are done with the soft abrasive scrubbing, we want to follow up with a final rinse. This final rinse is going to go ahead and push any of that dirt, dust, and debris, and anything left on those solar panels. It will all go off with the water. I have found that if you don't do a a final rinse sometimes after doing your soft abrasive scrubbing the water dries it evaporates and the solar panels still look dirty there is dirt and dust that is still left in the water and once it dries the solar panels are dirty so if you get that final rinse that's where all that goes away and you end up with nice beautiful clean solar panels it's time to snap those beautiful after photos to show off how amazing your company is again get a couple away and get a couple up close bottom line is that your customer will save a lot of money and energy by having a professional solar cleaning company regularly clean their panels. It is recommended that homeowners have their solar panels cleaned professionally once to twice a year. If you guys like the videos that you're watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell so that you get a notification every time we drop a new video or go live, which is quite frequently. But for me and Mike, 
What? It's a wrap. You weren't ready for that. <laughs> dropped one of them right down here and put it right after the water spigot so that the water rushes through. Just a snap. Oh wow. Look at that. Ready for this? We're gonna talk about this because this is important because it came. It, uh, let's try that one again. That's it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on.